As you age, one of your main goals becomes finding your own special way to relax. My night of relaxation looks a little something like this. After a long day of meetings and negotiations, I grab myself a glass of whiskey and maybe a nice cigar to go with it, and I dip my toes into my bathtub, surrounding myself with tons of luxury soaps, elixirs and scrubs. And I know that may seem a bit weird to some, but it's the 21st century, lads. If you aren't relaxing in an expensive spa with a pricey glass of scotch, well, you're missing out. Jacuzzis, pools, and hot springs have long been a place to relax and rejuvenate, and there are few things the wealthy enjoy more than relaxation. Some even buy bathtubs that are double, triple, or even quadruple the price of the average home. Today, we're going to take a look at the most expensive bathtubs ever made. We'll look at the exclusive materials they're made from, what the creator had in mind, and examine if they're anything worth the price. Number 4. Baldy Rock crystal bathtub. If you want an expensive hobby, get into crystals. Those chunks of sparkly rock go for hundreds or thousands of dollars, so it shouldn't be too surprising that this bathtub made of solid gemstone sold for one million dollars. However, I still find myself picking my jaw off the ground. Baldy Home Jewels is the company behind these luxurious bathtubs. The tubs can be made from green quartz, rose quartz, and crystal rock, allowing wealthy people patrons to pick whatever best suits their home decor. All of the crystals are sourced from the Amazonian jungle, which isn't an easy task. The raw materials are lugged out of the jungle and then privately shipped to Florence, Italy. Once they're in Florence, they are painstakingly hand-carved to create the smooth interior, which takes hours and hours of labor. The rose quartz tub in particular, which sold for around a million dollars, was commissioned by Tamara Ecclestone. The tap is made of solid solid gold, but it's also embellished with additional diamonds. After all, a bathtub made of hundreds of pounds of sparkling crystal just isn't always luxurious enough. The tub is six feet in length, with enough room for around two to three people, though it's only about two feet high, so try not to splash. Number three, golden bathtub. The next bathtub on our list isn't just a fancy smancy bathtub adorned with diamonds and crystals that's wasting away in some billionaire's house. Oh no. In fact, this bathtub earned a hotel a lot of money. Hundreds of people bathed in it, and it went on to be at the center of one of the strangest hotel mysteries ever. The golden bathtub was commissioned by the Kominato Hotel Maikazuki, just outside of Tokyo, Japan. The luxury hotel, which is nestled against the rocky cliffs of the Pacific Ocean, was looking for an opulent feature to bring business and excite prospective guests. Well, I can think of a few better ways to do that than commissioning a million-dollar bathtub, but we all have our own marketing ploys, I suppose. The tub was made of solid 18 karat gold and weighed 175 pounds. It was placed in a shared bathroom on the 10th floor and only available to high paying guests for a few hours per day. The hotel prides itself on unique experiences like the gold bathtub, including a luxurious outdoor spa area, a mahjong parlor, a table tennis room, and a karaoke room. However, in 2007, an employee did their morning rounds at the hotel, opening up to prepare it for guests. But when they opened the bathroom, the golden bathtub was missing. At night, the bathtub was chained to a padlocked door, so how it was smuggled out was a mystery. The police quickly arrived to survey the scene and were shocked to see no scuff marks on the ground and no footage showing the tub being stolen. In other words, they had absolutely no clues. To this very day, the million-dollar golden bathtub has not been found. Who knows? Maybe it was sold on the bathtub black market. Number 2. La Grande Queen 180 million years ago, relaxation wasn't really a thing. The world was a chaotic, dangerous place where dinosaurs roamed the earth. The oceans were turbulent waters teeming with gnarled-toothed monsters, and a warm, humid breeze swept through the forests of impossibly tall conifers, some of which would one day be made into a bathtub worth a petrifying $1.7 million. La Grande Grande Queen is a bathtub made of Caillou, which is a unique combination of petrified wood and semi-precious stones. Mined from deep within the forests of Indonesia, Caillou is an ancient material that is incredibly hard to find, and even harder to buy. Simone Croft, an interior designer, set out with an extensive crew to find the Caillou for the bathtub. The crew located the preserved tree trunk after 600,000 hours of labor, but their work wasn't done just yet. The trunk weighed 
10 tons, and getting it out of the forest would be a challenging feat. It had to be transported for miles through the dense jungle to the nearest paved road. After a year of work, the tree was finally shipped to Europe. Once it arrived in Austria, master stonemasons worked with the petrified wood. After three months of relentless work, the bathtub was finally looking like, well, a bathtub. The design itself was modeled after Indonesian bunker canoes, hearkening back to the origin of the material itself. It's designed with enough space for two people to soak together, which is great, because you might have to split the bill to purchase a tub this expensive. People can commission their own Le Grande Queen for a price, using the same trunk the original was carved from, though I'm not sure their advertising will exactly make the billionaires come rolling in. Not only is the historical appeal a huge selling point for the tub, many people actually believe Caillou has healing properties. But does it actually? Well, we'll just have to check out the most expensive bathtub in the world to answer that question. Number 1. The Jewel As I'm sure you can assume, the most expensive bathtub in the world is also made of petrified wood. However, this one was made by a different designer who went on a much different expedition, and it cost $2 million. Nigel Fenwick, the interesting mind behind this tub, known as The Jewel, went into the Indonesian forest himself to hunt for the petrified wood. He claims he can feel the energy of the crystals inside the petrified wood as he hunts through the jungle. And though I can't confirm or deny that, I can say that spiritually sells. He and his team found a 16-ton trunk, which they drug back to Europe to get to work on. Fenwick carved the tub using his own two diamond blades, which was a time-consuming process. And after eight months working eight-hour days, the tub was finally complete. Fenwick, much like Krupp, claims the petrified wood is a material with healing properties. Though there aren't any scientific studies proving that, there are studies that show that wooden furniture can reduce blood pressure and stress, improve the air quality, and elicit feelings of warmth and relaxation. So, there you have it, the most expensive bathtubs in the world. Which one would you like to bathe in? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip pip to doodly do.